Hello everyone. Welcome to Acueda Learning Hub. So yes, today is a very special video and it's about expectation of a common man from coming up budget 2022. So first of all, I hope you all are in good care and health and you have protected yourselves well from this COVID situations and have checked out all our previous videos which can be in the various playlists about stocks, mutual funds and other videos. And you did subscribe to our channel to keep watching this finance update by Acuveda Learning Hub. And if you have any doubts, do comment. I'll clear all your doubts as soon as possible. So yes, about today's video, as a common man, as a citizen, we expect a lot from budget and this coming government. So on 1st of Feb 2022, government will be releasing its budget for this year, for this finance year. And it's going to be a very special budget since India is about to go into a phase of elections in five states. Yes, such a huge country with such huge populations and voters is going through elections very soon. And we expect a lot from this coming budget. So uh, what is mostly expected is a change in standard deduction and a change in IT slab, which is expected every year. But this time it's quite, you know, more expected from the government. Because government has to attract more voters, it has to seem more convincing to the voters to ensure they get as number of votes as possible in coming up elections. So, like, it was quite simple before this COVID era or the Corona age, but now we expect the government to be more considerate in the budget towards the common man, towards the people who have lost a lot in this situation, towards the ones, towards the shutdown companies and towards everyone. So point by point, I'll go from what experts suggest and what they expect from this coming up budget. Follow me for more. Whatever the reason be, may it be the demand of the time, demand of the situation or the coming up elections, whatever be the motive behind, but we expect government to be a bit innovative and help the common man and bring some relief to the mango man's pocket. So firstly, we expect a regular reduction, which the most, the people who expect this are the job goers are the 9 to 5 workforce, they expect a deduction in standard deduction, which can be up to or maybe an increase in the amount of standard deduction. Standard deduction amount, what is standard deduction? It's a amount of your salary which on which income tax is not cal calculated. It is exempted from income tax calculation. So standard deduction sum is currently 50,000, but experts expect a really increase a raise in this standard deduction amount up to 1 lakh, which can be done to attract voters for the coming up elections in various states and also to give some relief to the public as COVID situations has left many of us devastated, unemployed, etc. So bring to us some savings. Maybe this can be a step very soon. Next can be a step called tax exemption slab, which expects a raise in it. Currently, people who earn 2.5 lakh a year are exempted from income tax bracket. But this, this bracket is expected to rise or increase or expand in the coming budget. It can expand up to 3 lakh so that people who earn up to 3 lakh in a year won't have to pay any taxes to the government. Any taxes means your direct tax, which is your income tax. That does not include your indirect taxes or GST. So, uh, yes, the government has to be convincing, it has to convince the workforce and this can be a really convincing step as many people who earn up to 3 lakh or somewhere between 2.5 to 3 lakh and are exposed to income tax bracket are quite sad about it and they expect some relief from the government in coming up budget. Next step can be a universal pension scheme. Yes, this is a very important scheme. It will be a pension scheme for every citizen in senior citizen age. Or, or the above the age of 60. This scheme can be brought into force to attract people for the elections or to bring some relief to the senior citizens of the country. A universal pension scheme has been suggested by the PM or the Prime Minister Economic Commission or the Prime Minister Advisory Commission for Economy, which is also called PMEAC. Prime Minister Economic Advisory Commission and it has suggested a scheme which is known as Universal Pension Scheme which means pension to everyone above the age of 60 which can be a great idea to help senior citizens as well as to attract vote for this comment and it can bring such a scheme in the coming budget which is quite expected from the Modi comment in this year 2022. Expenditure on health sector is expected to raise to a limit of 2.5% of GDP 
right now or the in the previous budget the allocation of the gdp allotted to the health sector was quite less but it is expected to rise in the coming budget by 2.52 a level of 2.5 percent of entire gdp of india which can be quite a benefit since covid situation or the covid era has increased our demands from the health sector also the health sector needs a lot of uplift upliftment lots of infrastructure etc so a reduction in rebate is expected in health insurance premium as well gst on health insurance is expected to decrease from 18 percent to 5 percent yes 18 percent gst which is a large amount which can affect your pockets drastically expected to reduce to 5 percent so that you have to pay less gst on your insurance premium you can gain more so that more and more people have the courage to go for insurance for health insurance premium and can bring some relief to their families in future such pandemic situations etc so yeah and next can be a huge increase in investment towards education which can be increased by up to 10 percent of the current investment yes this is expected from the government since the education is a quite important thing and modi comment emphasizes on education yes this comment is expected to increase more than 10 percent or up to 10 percent in the education sector the investments next important reform can be for us the stock market investors which can be a reduction in stt and ltcg what is ltcg ltcg is long-term capital gain tax which is imposed when you gain from a long-term investment in stocks and what is stdd it is security transaction tax which is to be given while you sold your while you sell your stocks and or it is included with the capital gains tax so there there's an expected reduction in stdt and ltcg because uh, the investors are expecting some relief from the government as stocks is the new age earning mode for the increasing or the growing national population, national youth, which is quite enthusiastic about stock investment. And this can be a step to attract more and more youth towards stock investment. Yes. And this month, there was an important thing. PM Narendra Modi dedicated a special day to startups. Yes, the startup culture has taken all over India. There are startups all over the country, be it Bangalore, be it Noida, be it Gurgaon, be it Delhi, be it Mumbai. So COVID-19, however, has negatively impacted these startups. These companies, these budding units have suffered a lot due to the pandemic. And many small businesses have been forced to shut down due to the economic slowdown that COVID-19 pandemic brought with itself. Mm, so the government is quite expected to help these startups in growing by reducing a tax or giving a tax rebates to startups which can be done to attract more and more companies to the startup sphere and the answer to all these expectations will be revealed on 1st of feb when our fm our finance minister presents the budget in the parliament the government in interest of the economy is also expected to lower the interest rates and make a higher capital available for msmes Yes, MSMEs are medium and small industries, expect some rebate and relief from the side of the government and to get some investments and capital rebate from the government. MSMEs are the new backbone of the Indian economy and yes, they have helped us a lot in generating employment, giving more and more employment to our youth and these, com these companies after the pandemic need a boost up, need a relief from the government, need support from the government and they expect certain rebate in the manufacturing etc from government also as we see there is a continuous rise in prices of raw materials thus the gst on manufacturing sector is expected to reduce from 18 percent to 12 percent which can be a rebate for huge rebate for manufacturing sector yes the government is expected to give the following rebates and as i said let me repeat myself all these expectations and all these answers will be revealed on 1st of feb when fm presents the budget in the parliament so let's keep waiting for the budget, what it brings to us, what it brings to our pockets, how hard it goes or will it bring us some relief. Let's wait for it and do subscribe to our channel, the Equator Learning Hub for more such updates and detailed analysis of budget will be given right after this video as soon as the budget is released. So stay connected. Thank you.